Hello, this is me Ali Azam, Google Ads, Facebook Ads, and Bing Ads Certified Advertising Professional, as well as an owner of a Google Partner Company, a SEO expert, and we provide different marketing solutions. In case if you need some services, the details are in the description of this video. So, without wasting any time, let's get started on the question we have today. And the question today I have is a very amazing, interesting. And the question is how to review Google Ads campaign for need help with the campaign for commercial roofing business in Texas. Okay. But rather to review, I'm, I'm going to make it, you know, how to create one and then you can uh, do an audit. For an audit, I have a video, but, you know, I'm going to give you a few points or suggestions on which you can create an amazing comment. But in case of any help, uh, we can help you. Out. The details are in the description in case if you want to work with us. So let's get started. How do you view Google Ads campaign for need help with campaign for commercial roofing cases in Texas? Okay. So for the question on, uh, uh, you know, commercial roofing business in Texas, I'm going to do a quick research on Google to see what I can get for this. Okay. I can use even tools as well, but you know, I'm going to make it easy for you without using any tools to get your data on what I'm, uh, what I can work around. And then I can also uh, get some data from the keyword planner over here. And that can also help me out uh, in sorting a good campaign. So the first thing in any campaign is to understand the structured timings. So I need to understand, you know, my first strategy is timings. I need to understand peak hours of my campaign. So I assume that people call from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Okay, but I, I, I can do testing any time, any day. Or once I can, if I can uh, generate good sales for my client, then I can suggest to them to allocate some budget to try off peak timings to see in case if we see any type of sales over there on them on those timings to see. So my strategy is to first determine my timing and my days. Okay. I need to understand is it Monday to Friday or Saturday to Sunday or all days of the week. I need to figure out these and then days of the month. I need to understand which days of the month are performing well for me. For instance, if I see that 1 to 20, uh, uh, like 20 date are my peak dates. Okay. And uh, from 21st to 30 are my off peak. Then I can come up with some special deals for last days. And this can, you know, make a campaign a strategy for me. Then my next is to have ad extensions over in my campaign. Ad extensions. You can go to, okay, but first discuss the, uh, I mean, the new keywords and then, you know, I, okay, you can just simply go to add assets over here and go to assets and create some, you know, extensions over here. If you ask me which extension should be, you know, uh, I recommend to work around in case if I have to win the attention of my customer and generate more sales, I definitely need side links plus call i do not need google map location uh, business location over here i need the pricing plus promotion okay. okay again it can vary but you know promotion deals something like this this can grab more attention uh, so this is you know for me i would suggest to i need these things to get it out get the workout for the keywords now, let's move on to the keywords over here and see what can be done over here. Okay. What I'm going to suggest you uh, even for Texas is to understand what Texas have for me. I can search on cities in Texas and what I can do ideally is to have create a specific campaign for my each city. Create a specific campaign for each city. Now this may sound a lot of work but you know we need, we need data to get examined. Uh, what is working well for us and if I am creating a general specific campaign that is not going to work well. I need to go in depth in the data. 
Firstly, cities, then in the areas, eventually, in go, I need to go in depth to understand what is working well for me. So, that is my ultimate strategy over here. So, I am going to do is create a specific campaign for each city to see what these cities are performing for me in my whole state. And then I can have, you know, keywords like I can have like this, you know, keywords uh, for each city is like city name plus roofing company. Okay, this can work very well. Or uh, roofing company near me. I can create Google local search result ad. Okay, what happens is that when you create such ads, what happens is it shows on the local listings. If I uh, have one, you can see uh, the results over here, and then it will be shown over here. And you know this is gonna do wonders if someone is searching on the mobile phone. So your ad is going to show be shown above. So that can also help you. My strategy is to create local search results. Also work on my search terms. Search terms are the exact queries. You know, once is yes, like the keyword is search terms are the exact queries through which the customer is coming to our key uh, our campaign. And we can just get it simply by opening to go to campaign or keyword, and then to the search terms to exactly figure out what are the keywords from those the people are coming, and then accordingly. We can have negative keyword added, and there is one thing I also forgot, and that is to have your conversion tracking set up. You also need to understand how you are tracking your analytics. Analytics is very important because we are paying for each visitor to land on our website, and we need to optimize this experience. So I believe that these are few of the. Uh, you can also, you know, where you are creating local searches, that you can also try with call campaigns because we need more results, more leads. So I can work on this, and then you know we need to have. Customized landing pages as well for each city. You know, something like you need roofing business in Austin, you need roofing business in Dallas. You can create, you know, campaigns like this, and that can, you know, give more personalization to the eventually visitor. Like they are talking to me. If you can create a generic landing page, you know, people are not gonna bother around with high CTA call to actions, and that can, you know, do wonders. So you, these are the few studies which I believe can uh, do wonders for your roofing company business. I hope it answers. And then there is another thing which I, you know, forgot to tell, and that is, you know, when you are creating keyword, just try to understand the intent behind the keyword. Are the customer is trying to understand the about roofing pages? Are the customer comparing yourself to other businesses, or they are looking for that service? So that is very important while doing the keyword research. And again, I am telling you, in case if you need me or my team uh, assistance or help in creating a five star campaign, the details are in the uh, description of this video on how you can use this. So, thank you for watching this video. In case if you have any questions left, you are more than welcome to write in the comments box. Plus, make sure to subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so that whenever I create a new video, you guys get a notification regarding this. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care and bye bye.